Give me one second. Okay, action. Hi. Are you for seconds? Three part lilies. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Penelope said it was me. I was telling you how sometimes you joke and you're like, hi, Katie. Hi, Ashley. And she thought it was me. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. But I still know you love me. <laughs> okay. Like it when you're sipping a straw that's unmanly of you or something. I really what the fuck. Who the fuck, fuck said yeah, that? Yeah. No, so we were like, what the fuck? See, that's why New York sucks now. And then, and then she started going on about how he had to like remove, uh, and we were like, well, it's not a plastic straw. And he was like, no, I had to remove a metal straw from a <clears throat> You don't like large groups of people. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to figure out in the summer something with the open mic. Yeah, we'll so see. You can we'll see. Maybe you can go to Jerry Seinfeld's house. <laughs> Jerry! We hit our ball over the fence, Jerry. He's probably a prick in real life. Oh, hi. It's caught me. Nice. Not doing my job. Caught me not doing my job. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Really? Yeah, no. Holy Every shit. second I had to open a new bottle. Oh my god. It was a lot. And there's some old guys who were all like, because we were. Wow. Like, I wish they put me back they on the like, bar. They were like, wow, these churros are cold and churros? there's no more wine. Yeah, there were churros. You had churros? There were churros. Was there know. churros? I didn't know that. I don't know. Like, um, great expectations. Want to go? Oh, should I have some? Felipe.
Can it be both? Yeah, we can start with Shell. Are you an astronaut puppy? Yes. Look, it's the majestic, majestic map. Doesn't have. We'll do the next interview next week. I think next week is a better one. Today is a chill. Oh, really? Is that what today was? Rosemary's gives you focaccia. The Palestinian okay. place gives us free bread. They give you bread? Yeah. What kind of bread? Like a like the like a, flat bread. Yeah, okay. And they right. gave us olives. They actually gave really? us a king of olives and olive oil. It was nice. Because that place only gave like, you only gave me and Penelope like four olives and like stale bread. And we asked for more. And they didn't charge us, but they came back and they only gave us like one olive oil. We can't believe none of these places get bread anymore. You know, it's few and far between that you get bread. It used to be every restaurant, they give you bread, olive oil. What happened? What happened to the, the world we live in? It's falling apart at the seams. Nobody gives you bread anymore. What's up? No knock warned by the police, beaten to death on the streets, starved to death while everything you have, including your family, was blown to pieces. Perhaps you should have said please and thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, 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 how can we be civilized if we pretend? And you know what's cool about being growing up with the pink parents? They teach you things.
say I do can't take care of it. We got some people ready to work and cook. I found out she was alive and that was a moment where I like switched the relationship to, to me. There's a butterfly in the top of his chicken. <laughs> chilling. What's going on with that sign that I was so into? Oh! <gasps> That is crazy. It's not a moth, it's a... Are they nocturnal? In this book I've got of his, I forget what it's called, but I'm not... He did even Cowgirls Get the Blues. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't believe those little fucking punks stole my weed. So they must print new ones. That's nice paper. Yeah, it's got a pop-up. A cheap cowboy burger, like American. <laughs> Huge beef, just pile of big beef. Western beef. Uh, here we are, blue bats, dining. French, they don't have ketchup, they're French. Well, you can just sit here. Ooh, is that where you were sitting? Yeah, is that Ashley's seat? Yeah, that's my seat. That's the Ashley seat right there? Seat. Okay. Yeah, I was sitting there. Is this their yard? Or is this, no, this, this is, is, okay. What about this restaurant, is this good? So yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so that's the Ashley seat, huh? You can see right in the kitchen here. Poor West Village taken over by douchebags. Fine thing. Mark Chummer is my first hero. He was the host of Double Dare on Nickelodeon. I don't think he was a <laughs> part of the uh, Dan Schneider Nightmare Factory. As far as I know, Mark Summers is a good man. He's a good host. He was, you know, he's my first hero because he's a host. Yeah. <laughs> Even back then, I was a fucking. You always want to be a host. I was a little host. You want to be the host. That's of right. Host. <laughs> Kinda. Well, every day there was this guy, I forgot his name. He was the that host. sounds like a good idea. He was the host of this game, and there was only one question, and like you had to answer correctly. Like, I, I don't know, we were like. There's little lamp shade on the table. And of course, we have to vlog it. Oh, yeah. Nice and warm with.
That's the young Ginsburg tree, but it's not in bloom anymore. <laughs> telescope, a miniature hourglass, a miniature poster for the 12th season of the Santa Fe Chamber Music Festival, circa 1984. Shit. Okay. Um. Yes. Dr. King, for example. What did it say? So it's like, I'm going to be sad, sad about what's happening on our campus, blah, blah, blah. There is a terrible conflict raging in the Middle East, blah, blah, blah. Um, there have been too many examples of intimidating and harassing behavior on our campus. Anti Semitic language, like any other language that is used to hurt and frighten people, is unacceptable and an appropriate action will be taken. What's the president's take here? Well, like I said, uh, and you're you What? It's like the only affordable, you know, place that can get lean, gluten-free, protein, high in fiber, a lot of beans, no sugar, no dairy. Hybrid bus. Okay. She's filming, I'm filming.
serial. It's about a series, Ashley. It's about doing works in a series. This is a series of Mondays. And I haven't been in. Yeah, you kind of weave in and out. You're like a recurring line that weaves in and out. front. I wonder why. May, I think it's, his thing is May 9th. When is it? Time to go in the bar. <sighs> oh, stay Back on Monday. <laughs> What's up, my man? How you doing? My grandmother was gonna have to be shot with silver bullets. This old bitch was bugging. Grandma, lay down. You ain't no fucking werewolf, Grandma. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> right. All right, so that's the female part. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is lit as hell. Their matcha sucked, huh? The coffee clumped? Yeah, like how do you clump coffee? It must be super natural or something. I don't think it's no, tough. What a meme. Yeah, this was a meme before there was memes. Pardon me. Would you have any grave poupons? Oh, for coke. Oh. Uh, pull forward, please. Reverse. These dandies. The mannerism in their very eating and drinking. The handling of a decanter. You are making an attack on me. Forgive me. I've been too long on my brother's sick bed. You don't know. He said they did it Brazilian style. See, they get little kids to do it because the little kids 
don't get, they're, they can't be tried as adults. <laughs> so there's the older guys are back there. That's Brazilian style. They rob you Brazilian style. Send the little kids in. <laughs> you know, they think they can rob me. <laughs> Just act natural, okay? You don't need to do all that. <laughs> we need to remake the Nixon movie. Nixon. I think I could do a better job than Anthony Hopkins. Nixon. Alright, should we sit on this bench or I guess we can go further? <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Look at pain. <laughs> you. Central Park East. Central Park East. This doesn't have the same ring to it. Really. Bright star. He's like blowing up chewing gum. Mm -hmm. What's the guy's name? Wordsworth or Phineas or something. There's a name. Yes. He actually has a name. <laughs>
too many ways to die. Ouch, that hurts. I didn't pass the vibe check. I'm socially afraid. I don't know how things are going for you guys, but I just, I'm finishing off my fast food trifecta today. I had a dollar slice of pizza. I'm having Popeye's chicken, and I also ate Taco Bell. So that's where I'm at in my life. Can you, you just hang out here now, or? It's my love. I've been doing nothing for five minutes. <sighs> and who knows? I think that this is my psychotic ranting last night on TikTok. Like, I just kind of posted, I was kind of like, okay, only Matt's probably going to see this. No, I mean, I'm telling you, people are hungry for poetry. I thought you presented it in a creative way. They know who you're talking about. You can make, make each other laugh, you know. You tell me in an ordinary story and you have to doctor it up to the max. <laughs> uh, he, was, he had a very excited mind. And he and his first wife... I call upon heaven, let down your veils, so I may climb up your golden ponytail and vanish into your vapory realm.
What was that? I'm like afraid. Well, we got the platter. We saw the whole dessert platter, everybody. It's magnificent, wasn't it? We want all What? We want the whole platter. What? Yeah, what the fuck? I thought we could get the whole just one. It's so weird to be watching this in a Philadelphia bar. What the fuck are these people from Philadelphia doing? Like the New York Knicks just won their first fucking playoff series in, since the 90s. <laughs> I think that's cause for fucking celebration. I've never been here when they won anything, so that's pretty cool if you ask me. That's why I wanted to watch it. It's nice to be in a city where people win things. 